Hello there, how's it going? How's your day going so far? I'm having a crappy day full of lessons and I did some meditation and I'm uh, feeling better now and I wanted to make a video because uh, I enjoy making videos and there was something that I wanted to share with you. I watched a video from a guy who was talking about how to find your bliss and I, I love that topic, it's something that I've been very interested in and been exploring um, for a while and he said something that kind of I was like oh wow he said if you're trying to find your bliss it's probably because you already know what it is I was like oh shit like <laughs> he kind of like dropped the bomb on me of like okay now I gotta be honest with myself I know what it is that I want to do I know I know what it is, I know, I just have to be extremely honest with myself, painfully honest, radically honest with myself, and accept the fact that, that maybe I do know what it is, but it's not easy to, sometimes I feel like, we feel like once we say what it is, it's like, okay, now it's out there, now it's... I gotta make it happen, right? Now I gotta go for it. And it's scary, it's scary as hell. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I feel like, I definitely know from my experience that the more that we do follow our bliss, the more that, the more that you do follow your passion, I don't know, life seems to change, maybe your perspective changes, things start to look differently. Um, I know it's been scary for me, but I know kind of like when Joseph Campbell said, when you follow your bliss, doors will open where there were only walls or something like that, where there were only walls or where, I forget the, the exact quote. Um, and I do think opportunities arise, things will show up in your life that I feel like they make life more meaningful, right? What is it that we're looking for in life? Like, what is it that, especially if you've been on a, on a spiritual journey, and that's a funny term, like, we're all in a spiritual journey, whether we like it or not, whether we know it or not, but if you've been kind of like following that path, on purpose, I guess, I don't know if that's the right way of saying that, but what is it that we're looking for, right? Some people want financial abundance, some people want a soulmate. I feel like a lot of us want meaning in life, right? A, a meaning, a sense of meaning, a sense of purpose. And I do feel like life purpose and following your bliss definitely go together and kind of like I don't know what the word would be but I do feel like when we do follow our bliss like you do get that sense of like wow like life is beautiful <laughs> thank you God for this opportunity to be alive at this time it's I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel, sometimes I feel extremely hopeless, a victim. Like I don't want to be here. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Like I feel lost. I feel lost. But then at times I feel like an insane, huge sense of purpose. Right? I don't think you or I have been put here on this planet at this time. Just because of coincidence, right? There was no one else and then, okay, you go. <laughs> you go down there, it's your turn. I need someone, you're next in line, right? I feel like we have a nice big purpose. And when I say big purpose, it doesn't need to be huge, right? You don't need to change the world. You don't need to change the world. I'm actually gonna make another video about this because I think it's a really cool topic, a fascinating topic, but there was a video by Oprah that she said, your purpose can be in your neighborhood, right? I made a video on Facebook a little while ago that I was trying to grow my following, my YouTube channel, and growing my Facebook following and all that. And 
I had things around me that could have used my help, like people that could have used my help, right? I'm a big brother to a young boy, 14 year old boy, that he really needs someone. Uh, he really, we both really enjoy hanging out together. We go, I take him to the movies, we go running and exercising and doing all kinds of fun stuff. And I was so obsessed with a big purpose that I was forgetting about him and I, I didn't have time, right? We all do that, we don't have time for that. And then I have a friend with cancer, right? Dealing with cancer and I, I could help him with the nutrition, the lifestyle changes and all that and I was so obsessed with the big purpose. Guys, I hear that all the time, right? I hear about purpose and all that and it's like, no, I gotta concentrate on my, I'm here for a big mission. But maybe, maybe your purpose can be, doesn't need to be that huge, right? And I do think that when we follow our bliss, kind of like what Joseph Campbell said, when you follow your bliss, you are heading in that direction of what your maybe life purpose is, right? You're heading in that, maybe not, you never know if you're in that exact destination, but at least you're heading on that path, right? And I love there was a video by J.P. Sears when he was talking about, oh, what was it? Um, it was a, uh, about comfort zone, right? Your, your comfort zone. And he made a really good point that you're not going to find your purpose or something. I, I forget if that's the exact point that he made, but you're not going to find your life purpose. You're not going to be able to follow your bliss if you stay in your comfort zone all the time, right? I think there was a big part of me that wanted to help others, right? When I was a personal trainer, a lot of people kind of liked my perspectives and my point of view and my ideas and stuff like that. And I was like, I want to share that with more people, but I was terrified of making videos on YouTube and, and Facebook. And when I started making those videos, I started getting really good feedback. And people were saying that they were very helpful and stuff like that. So if I would have stayed in my comfort zone because I was terrified of making videos, would I have been able to find that fulfillment and a deep sense of purpose? Like, wow, I'm here for a big purpose, right? Would I've, I wouldn't have been able to found, find the clients that I'm working with, uh, which is such a beautiful relationship, right? Both ways, we both get so much out of it. And I did that by stepping out of my comfort zone. If you watch my first video, it's like, it's crazy, it's funny, and, and, and uh, <laughs> I was so afraid before making that video. And I still am, but I still am, but it's okay. There's a big purpose behind what I do, I think, I guess, I don't know. Um, but that's what I wanted to share today, and he was also talking about, which a lot of people talk about, a good way to find it is if you had unlimited time, money, and freedom, right? Unlimited time, money, and freedom. What would you do with your life? How would you help others, right? Some people at first, they think like, oh, I would just go to the beach every day. But no, after a month of that, you'll be sick of that, right? We all want to help others, right? I feel like, I think it was Abraham Hicks that said it, that, that we're all uplifters, right? We like to uplift others. We like to inspire others. We like to help others, right? In whatever way it might be, you might want to help them in business, in health, in relationships, anything, anything, making others laugh, whatever it is, right? But what if, I, I just want to challenge you with that idea, what if you already know what your bliss is? What if you already know what your purpose is, but like me, maybe you're too afraid to accept it and start going moving forward on it I don't know it's okay if you're there I was there I'm still there <laughs> it's okay it's okay but I feel like that's a nice little way of challenging ourselves to get really 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 honest with ourselves and be like okay what if I do know what it is that I want to do what if I do know what Maybe you'll never know if it's 100% your life purpose, but what if that's what feels like your purpose right now? Your purpose can change throughout your life, right? But what if that's what it feels like right now? What if that's true? 
All right? I just want to challenge you with that idea. Um, I don't know. That's it for this one. I'm going to make more videos on that because I really like that. I love Joseph Campbell's work. I love life purpose and, uh, and bliss and all those ideas. I really, really, really cool. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you liked it. I hope you got some good ideas. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that and what if there's anything specific that I could help you with, at least with more questions, more ideas, more different perspective, whatever it might be, let me know. I would love to be able to help you. That's why I want to do what I want to do. Um, so that's it. Hope you have a beautiful day. Enjoy the rest of your day or night or whatever time you might be watching this. That's it. That's it. Have a good one. Love you. Peace out.